Hi everybody, I'm Dee. And I'm Jay. And we, we are, are Pair of DJ. DJ. Welcome to another exciting Alaska Pair of DJ Sport Guide. Woohoo! <laughs> today we are going to Sitka. So it's on Baranoff Island. It is the former government capital of Alaska, like before it was even a state. Um, mm. And I learned in the research that it was the site of the transfer ceremony for the Alaska Purchase. Whoa, that's cool. That? Yeah, yeah, that is cool. Uh, really easy to walk around. It's got a lot of Russian heritage. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, let's jump into navigating the port. Now, Sitka is a bit of an interesting one. It is, yeah. Most ships are going to be docking out of town at the Sitka Sound Cruise Terminal. Uh, mm -hmm. It is about a six mile shuttle bus. Now the buses are free. free. And that will deposit you at Harrigan Centennial Hall. Yes. So really your base for exploring yeah. Sitka is the Centennial Hall building. Some cruise ships I've heard tender into mm -hmm. Sitka. And I believe when you tender in, you kind of get deposited right by Centennial it's Hall. It's really close, yeah, from but what I understand. We haven't experienced no. that yet, <laughs> but we might in the future. Uh, but get in line early, because mm. even though there are shuttle buses, the line can be long. It does move along pretty quickly, yeah. though, so just be patient and know you'll get there soon. Yeah, but there is a process <laughs> yes. to getting to town. There is. <laughs> Uh, the actual port complex itself, there's a handful of shops and eateries right there. Mm -hmm. Not a ton, but you know, enough to wander around and probably have a good time. Pick up some souvenirs. Yeah. yeah. Let's jump to the next section, which is ship excursions. So I've hopped on Carnival's website because they are our most cruised line, just to get six ideas for things that you could do in and around Sitka. Let's see it. Uh, up first, I have the Sitka Cultural Tour with Alaska Raptor Center. Now this touches on one of the, I would say, major highlights of Sitka, which is the Raptor Center. Mm. Bald eagles, yeah. other eagles, birds. Other birds. Yeah, uh, we've been there. We have, on yeah. On a tour, uh, independently, which we'll get into later. It's uh, They're rehabilitating the mm -hmm. birds. A lot of them either can't fly or something has happened that they can't be released back into the wild yeah. and they take care of them. And then the ones I think that they can release, they do. That tour also takes you to the National Historic Park, which is the big, cool, walky place with all the totems that oh, we've also been to. Oh, so cool, yeah. Oh. I really enjoy that. Yeah, and it takes you over to the cathedral, mm -hmm. which is in town. I guess you can either go before or after. It basically gets you admission to the cathedral. Now, when we went, the cathedral was free. It, yeah. We've definitely gone and just walked in, so I don't know that they charge for that. I don't know, but this tour says it includes your admission. I so. think they're just throwing that in to sound fancy. Yeah. <laughs> We've got the Birds, Bears, and Barnacles tour, which guess what? You go back to the Raptor Center. That's yes, the birds the portion. Birds. Uh, the Bears portion is Fortress of the Bear, mm -hmm. which we did visit on a separate tour. Yeah. That is also kind of an old rehabilitation facility, is my understanding. Uh, but the bears are now no longer able to be released. They will not let them Correct. release Some them. Some sort of legal yeah. sign or other. So... It's not like going to a zoo, right. um, but it is specifically bears. But there seems like a natural habitat, honestly, because you're in Alaska and there's a hill that they can go up. Um, yeah. But if you want to get up close and personal and Guaranteed not be scared, bears. hey, that's an awesome opportunity. Yeah. And this one also goes to the Marine Science Center, which is an area that oh, we have yeah. passed before but have not gone into. It looks really cool, yeah. The Wilderness Sea Kayaking Adventure is up next, and that is where you basically take a kayak and go wildlife spotting. Mm -hmm. Sounds fun. <laughs> I've also got the Sea Otter and Wildlife Quest, which is where you basically take a powerboat and you go wildlife, wildlife spotting. spotting. That's what you do in Alaska. Yeah. There's a theme here. Yeah. Yeah. After that is the Volcano Coast Exploration by Ocean Raft, which is where you basically take an inflatable raft and you go wildlife spotting. For a volcano. Ooh, there, there is yeah, a volcano. Is. And you can tell it is because like the cone part at the top, it's pretty cool actually. Mm. Yeah. My last pick was the Grizzly Coast 4x4 Adventure, which I guess you take a boat over to Cruise Off Island, but then you hop on a Yamaha Rhino OHV Whoa. and you go wildlife spotting. <laughs> now, I don't nice. know I don't know what the difference in an ATV and an OHV is, but that was the wording on the website is an OHV. Oh. So those of you know, who know... Hover vehicle. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Maybe it is like a hovercraft vehicle. It looked like it looked like an enclosed ATV with a roof. Oh, okay. That's yeah. all the pictures. But Obviously, we're adventurous. We know all these things. It had wheels. <laughs> they don't turn under like Back to the Future oh, 2 man. and fly off. They don't need roads. the end of one. <laughs> so up next, exploring on your own, because that's always one of our favorite things to do. And actually, Sitka is a really good spot mm -hmm. to do that. One of my favorite, yeah. honestly. Yeah. There's so much to go and see. Um, I've never seen so many eagles mm. like in one place. 
Once you get to town, Centennial Hall, like we said, is kind of your base camp. Uh, it's got restrooms. There's a little museum that mm -hmm. you can pay to go in there, and that's kind of it. Uh, yeah. But that's that's your that's your zone. That's your home in Sitka. It's also where you meet back for the bus. Yeah. Later on. Mm -hmm. And there's tour vendors out front that you can yep. pick up, which we'll get to the independent tour vendors here in a minute. Uh, the town itself is pretty easy to navigate. Pretty much, I've broken it down into a choice of two main directions that we have explored in Sitka. Mm -hmm. So if you get out to the intersection of Lincoln Street and turn left, you will go by the movie theater. You've got little restaurants there like Sitka Pelmeni, which is mm. Russian like steamed dumplings. And I guess the town- Kind of like pierogies? Yeah, a little Sort of, yeah. Sitka, I guess, is kind of known for them from that whole Russian heritage. Yeah. And I mean, they were good. They're really Something tasty. To definitely yeah. try when you're in Sitka. <laughs> Uh, you'll also pass the cathedral, St. Michael's Orthodox Cathedral, which we did go through there. Uh, little bookstores, coffee shops, candy stores, souvenir stores. You have the Sitka Pioneers home mm. up on the hill, which is, you can go in there and look around. We have not done that. No, we have not. <laughs> but then you've got the little totem square, yeah. which we have been to. Just a nice place to chill out. If you've grabbed some snacks and walked along with them and haven't eaten them on the walk, you can sit there and enjoy your snacks. We went to the bookstore and got coffee in the back and went over there. It was nice. Yeah. Over in that zone also, you have the Baranoff Castle State Historic Site. That is the hill that you can go up and you get good views from mm -hmm. up top. A lot of historic plaques to learn about what the heck used to be up there. Yeah, it's really cool. Mm -hmm. Now, if we jump back to that same intersection where we started on Lincoln Street, but instead of turning left, we turn right. You'll go by the Russian Bishop's House, which mm -hmm. we did go in and explore. Really neat. It's yeah. uh, free. They ask for donations if you want to do that, but um, otherwise it's included. Yeah, I think they offered guided tours, but I know the yeah. stuff tours to just walk around yeah. were, were free. Mm -hmm. There's all kinds of cute little statues that we passed by. There is the Sheldon Jackson Museum, which we kind of walked by accidentally, but yeah. didn't go into. We thought we were going somewhere else at the time. We did. <laughs> uh, community Playground, which was really cute. Uh, there's the Sitka Sound Science Center, mm. which you can go in and learn a lot of sound science about. Yeah, just looking in the door, it looked awesome. It did. Yeah. And beyond that, you'll find the Southeast Alaska Indian Cultural Center and Sitka National Historic Park, as we talked about before. Yeah. All kinds of trails, totems. Mm. Oh, it's we, along that path. Yes. Look up in the trees, all the eagles. All At the least eagles. every time we've been there. Mm -hmm. So many. But a lot of places to walk around in there. If you're looking for your hiking opportunities, that's a good place you to You can do. get lost really easily. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> Don't. And then from there, you can actually choose to continue because there is signage and walk to the Raptor mm -hmm. Center. I think it's another maybe half a mile past that Totem yeah. Park. But you might want to find a tour that takes you there too. But I mean, <laughs> it is technically walkable. Yeah, it would be a nice scenic walk too. Mm -hmm. So I've been including a hiking section in this, but of course we just talked about hiking at the place yeah. with the stuff. So. That's about the extent of nature walking that we've done. Exactly. There. But it's pretty massive, yeah. Yeah, and then Rainy Day Fun, of course, they have various museums. Like I said, you're usually gonna walk in the rain to get mm -hmm. somewhere where you can then be inside. Like you could go look at the Russian Bishop's house. You yeah. can hang around, I guess, the Centennial Hall, but there's not a lot to see in there, really. The little museum, probably. The Science Center would mm -hmm. be a good one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, indoor, so yeah. get yourself over there in the rain and then dry off inside. There you go. So now, tour vendors, because as we always say, sometimes when you're exploring on your own, you don't want to be completely on your own. It's good to have somebody who knows what they're doing. Guide it. <laughs> <laughs> so the one tour company that we've used actually twice is Sitka Wildlife Tours. We did their land tour, which was Fortress of the Bear, yep, uh, the, the Raptor, Raptor Center, Center, a couple of other places. Mm -hmm. Oh, that uh, totem park that yep, we just talked the about. the totem park. Uh, which they have that cool bridge there, which you can, if you're there at the right time of the year, you can see some salmons. Yeah, that's really neat. I know it's not salmons. That's not how you play <laughs> salmon. <laughs> Multiple salmon. <laughs> yeah. And then when we went back, we did their marine tour, which was whale watching, mm -hmm. which we did see a whale. We did. Yep. But we were kind of eagles. early in the season. Yeah. yeah. Eagles, you get to kind of see the volcano from afar. Really cool to ride around and just see stuff. It was pretty. So some other vendors, which we haven't used, but we've done research on and feel like they would be a good shot. Let me check my notes. We've got Baranoff Tours. That's another one of the ones you'll see out in front of Centennial Hall. Right. You can usually, you can buy your tours day of, but they will fill up. Like yeah. usually when we show up, a lot of them are sold out. I would do your research ahead of time and probably yeah. book it, especially if you're going like high season, like August, September. True. Yeah. Um, Gallant Adventures is another one that I had heard of, and I'll put links to all these guys in the description. Uh, Sitka Wildlife Adventures also, not to be confused with Sitka Wildlife Tours, <laughs> different company. Uh, there's also a shuttle bus that I actually just thought of and oh, didn't put yeah. in my notes. When you go to the front of Centennial Hall, if you just want to go to like the Raptor Center or something, there's a bus that'll mm -hmm. just shuttle you there and back for a fee. Yeah. So so that's something you could probably pick up day of cool. for sure. Mm -hmm. 
And if you have any other suggestions, let us know. We might add them to the list Absolutely. in the description if you found fun stuff to do in Sitka that we haven't. We want to know because we're going back. <laughs> that's true. Always. You will never not go to Alaska. I, I think feel. that's true. Yeah. Now it's time for free and frugal fun, which is always one of my favorite parts. So Sitka is very walkable. There's a lot to see. You can go in the cathedral. There are totem poles within easy walk. Lots of wildlife that can be spotted. Yeah. Spotted. It, spotted. You can go up the hill and see spotty wildlife. Um, there's just a lot going on. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I, I keep my, my ratings. Like we used to just only evaluate the port, which I was, if I was evaluating that port complex, yeah, well, no. that wouldn't be that great. So I am including walkable things from Centennial Hall in this particular rating. Once you get there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> once you get there. So I am giving Sitka, I'm going to give you a firm six. I'm being a little, I don't know, I'm, I'm hesitant with my scores, but I feel like six, there's a lot to do and a lot to see and a lot of history. Yeah, I would give it like a seven, actually. Okay. Yeah, I mean, if I'm thinking about it, all the things that you can do mm -hmm. just in a short amount of distance, there, there's a ton and a little bit for everybody, which I think is nice. Yeah, seven is a fair score. Yeah. I will go with you on that, so... <laughs> Nice. But you can even air snorkel. Huh? Like there's some really That's cool true. stuff that you can see in the water by the by the dock. Mm, oh. but I guess that is it for our <laughs> Sitka port guide. Mm -hmm. So hopefully you enjoyed. Uh, we've got a ton of these episodes, Caribbean, Alaska, all over the place. I'll put the links in the description as always. Yeah. If you have not, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Become a Paromaniac today. Socialize all our media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Yep. And until next time, rock, rock on. on.